So it's my first adventure since open heart surgery. I missed the Montana Weaver State game. So, by the way, they're having a blackout. You know what I think about sports merchandise and their slave made gear. So I'm wearing white. I'm all for sports merchandise. If it's used retro stuff, it's great, you know. But to have a blackout and here's 20,000. I mean, you know how toxic, environmental, horrible that is, not to mention the slavery. So I want to talk about, nobody knows more about Weber State basketball than me. Nobody. This team has fastly become my favorite team ever. This team doesn't have the talent that Randy Ray teams had. I'll tell you a story right here. Right after in 2016, the talent that Weber State basketball has had over the last decade under the Randy Ray is mind-boggling. I look back on it, I think about it. From Damian Lillard to Jerry Carding, Joe Ballenboy, Jeremy Sieglin, Scotty Bamforth, Kyle Tresnick, Zach Braxton, you know, our coach over at Bonneville High, you know, Cody John. I mean, all of them. I mean, Mr. Richardson. I go on and on and on and on and on. Kyle Bollinger. The talent he had was staring. He could not win. He would fade away at the end of this season. He was a horrible coach. Me and him were friends. And I remember I worked for Coach Beglin. I've only missed a handful of games since the day this building opened in 1977. Of course, I've missed the last two home games because open heart surgery. So, after the game against Xavier, they get beat in the tournament, which that team was loaded. I mean, loaded. And Randy Ray, me and him, have it out. I'm like, what happened? He says, well, you know, Kev, we're not just good enough. That was his old line. I'm like, bull fucking shit. Xavier lost to a team lesser than you in the next round. No, no, we don't get players like you used to get in the, uh, oh, what are you talking about? You don't get players. Like, uh, you mean like, you mean like Damian Lillard? You mean, and I, mean, I just went off on it, me and him. And that was when our relationship kind of started to sour. Now, remember, I did the play-by-play -play for KWCR for the radio station, you know. And uh, I missed games in the lower area in 2011. I missed a few because I was in a bone marrow transplant fighting ML leukemia. So when Randy got forced out, I was so glad he was gone. Uh, he, cared, he never gave a shit about the fans. He never gave a shit about the players. He gave a shit about him and his money. By the end of the season, he didn't want to win a tournament game. He wanted to go... Whatever he is, he does. Stu Moral knockoff. So I voted for, you know, I'm a Ron Baglin guy. I voted for Jimmy DeGraffa to be coach. So they hand it to Eric. I wasn't too happy about it, but I've learned to like him. He's become one of my favorites ever. This team doesn't have talent, not a lot. I mean, they got, well, they got the one thing Randy Ray teams didn't have. Heart. Now remember, Damian Lillard was ahead by 23 points at halftime in the Big Sky Championship game here. I'm sitting right behind him. I lost. Never won anything. I had no heart. I'm not saying Damian didn't, but the team sure didn't. I mean, I'm telling you, they didn't. None of Randy Ray's teams had any heart because Randy beat it out of them. I mean, like I said, the most talent in the history of this fucking school over that 10-year period. Bar none. And that's saying a lot. Louis Soldier and Justin Thigpen. Johnny Noble. So, it's become my favorite team. This team was playing Montana. We know what a war that is. So, my first thing out, we'll see if I can hang. Whew. On vacation across the street. So, let's see how my health holds up. Stay in tune.